And the Debrinic Channel is back and today we are talking about the Three Gorges Dam as they are experience another flood. This is the fourth one and a possible fifth one right on its doorstep as we continue to watch this situation unfold. It's just never ending. I have everything you need to know. Please like and subscribe and we'll be right back. And I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel and we are talking about more rain that continues to happen for the Three Gorges Dam system. It has just been insane year as this is their fourth flood they're encountered now and to make matters worse, there's more rain on the way. So will they consider this still the fourth or the fifth? I'm calling it the fifth because that's what it is. The first wave happened on the 11th. This is five days later and there's more rain on the way. So this will be the fifth flood that this has endured as over the next 12 hours it's going to be really bad in Chengdu and Ya'an. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit. But first we're going to talk about water level. We're going to talk about earthquakes and the floods and the dam itself so we're going to start off with the floods and the dam itself the dam was intent to make electricity for one and for two it was meant to hold back water during the great floods they wanted to keep it at 145 meters before the floods start and then try to maintain it the best they possibly can now during the dry season they wanted to keep it topped off at 175 meters as of august that's the way it normally is in august they generally keep it at 175 meters but but being there's more rain to the west they have to keep letting water out therefore they're just basically transferring the flood downstream because you can't let the thing over top so you have to release water that's just the way it works in any dam it doesn't matter if it's the three gorges dam the hoover dam lake powell or orville dam it just doesn't matter you want to keep the water flowing so the lake doesn't overtop now if it overtop then you would be talking about a catastrophic event that would wipe out everything downstream including wuhan and, and shanghai and all them other little villages along the way now some of those villages have already endured flooding because they are releasing water into those villages to save Wuhan and Shanghai and that's normal even in the United States they do this as they did this to West Alton in Missouri to save St. Louis on the Mississippi River during last year's flood in 2019 now about the earthquakes if there was an earthquake there at the dam you are talking about a catastrophic event anything over a 6.0 it would just be devastating it would tear the dam up completely and destroy the dam at least that's what they say is that true it's yet to be tested so no one really knows that for sure there are speculations that it will i know concrete generally doesn't bold well during earthquakes but this is a heavy dose of concrete. Will it hold up? We hope. We'll see. We don't know, honestly, when it comes right down to it. We all speculate that it will, but if it happened while there was a flooding event, or if it happened while the dam was at 175 meters, there's a lot of force behind that, whether the dam is enduring flooding or not. If you keep a dam completely full at 175 meters and there's a major earthquake, there's a lot of pressure on that dam to begin with, no matter what you do, because water is very, very heavy if any doesn't know. As a matter of fact, there's 2,204.62 pounds and one cubic meter. That is a lot of weight in my opinion because think how many cubic meters there are in the dam a whole bunch i have had several people suggest that there's fault lines under three gorges dam and i have seen reports that there have been minor earthquakes at the three gorges dam now i haven't seen any maps that state where these fault lines are if people have them please leave them down below in the comments and let me know i would be real interested in finding these fault lines so i could document them on upcoming videos so far i haven't been able to find them so with that being said let's roll over to the water level and see what's going on as i stated before the water level during the dry season is 175 meters now during the start of the flood season they like to keep it at 145 the three gorges dam height is at 185 meters now the current level is 157.31 meters the inflows are 47,800 meters the discharge is 42 2,240 meters. This is a net exceeding 54,000 meters into the reservoir. 
So this flood is just getting worse. There's video I saw on Twitter today with a body floating down it, and they said that a hundred... I'll read you the article here. So things are continuing to get worse. There was a report 16 minutes ago by this guy named John Bashman from the U.S., and he's stating that the massive flooding in China has reportedly killed hundreds and over 140,000 people have been evacuated. This video shows bodies flowing downstream in flood waters. I took a snapshot of it, but I'm not going to show the video as it's graphic in nature. So as predicted, this flood is just continuously getting worse. And then with that, we're going to go over to windy.com and we're going to check this out right here. And it's not any better. It's going to be worse. And the fifth flood is coming, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to go out to the next several days here and take a look at the weather forecast and we're at the rain accumulation like we always are on windy.com and we're going to go to Chandu and see what's going on in Chandu. Chandu is currently going to get 2.16 inches of rain over the next 12 hours and to the north of there 4.23. Now let's go over here and check out the GFS and see what it says. 2.19. We'll go down here to Chandu and see what it says. 1.69. If you guys don't forget that the GFS is the global model and the ECMWF is the European model. Over here a little further 4.56 inches of rain and then down here 3.94 and the European is a totally different 1.1 inches so they're they're basically saying right in this area here there's going to be a lot of rain just they're disagreeing where it's going to be some are saying global saying closer to the mountains the European saying a little further down so we will see you can see the difference in temperature 57 and 71 just like the other day no difference a lot of moisture 4.19 and let's go out the next 24 hours and see what's changed 5.62 so they were stating this on Friday that this is what it would be I didn't make a video yesterday as I was busy and they're basically saying the next 24 hours is gonna be the kicker it's going to be real bad so this is going to cause the next wave of flooding towards the Three Gorges Dam let's go over the GFS and see what it says the GFS is actually saying it's supposed to be more, so they're arguing over the amounts like they normally do. So it's 8.29. We'll go over here, go down here to Chengdu and see what it says 4.76. And to the east of Chengdu, not as much, two inches of rain, and a little further to the east, half inch. So there you go. Now let's scoot out a little bit, come over here, see what's going at the Three Gorges Dam. They're barely supposed to get any rain at all. So we're going to go to the next three days and see what it says. Now they're saying that Three Gorges Dam is going to get an inch of rain, which is still a lot of rain. We're going to go to Chongqing. Not as much. 0 0.16 Chengdu. Almost nine inches of rain. So these next three days are going to be crucial on what happens. We're going to go down here a little bit to Yaan. Yaan's down here, 7.47. Go down a little bit further, see what it says down here, 5.6. So you're seeing the pattern here. It's definitely going to be a lot of rain, and it's all heading this way. So we'll be watching this very carefully, as we always do. We're not going to go out to the five-day. We're just going to concentrate on the next three. The ten's even worse than that. So I want to thank everybody for coming to my channel and watching it. I appreciate it, and we will see you next time on the Debrinic Channel. God bless and peace. We'll see you soon.